JJ Odongo says Uganda and Turkey are in talks over Fred Kajubi Lumbuye's fate. Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV. That brings the latest news and the latest updates in the country and across the world. If it's your first time to be on this platform, kindly do one thing. Subscribe and turn on the notification button for all these updates. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, General JJ Odongo, says government of Uganda and Turkey are holding discussions on the fate of Turkey-based toxic blogger Fred Kajubi Lumbuye. Odong, who was Thursday, uh, who was on Thursday appearing before the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament, said the two countries together with Interpol IA to conclude discussions regarding Lumbuye's stay in Turkey. Lumbuye is a Ugandan who has been living in Turkey. To be specific, Istanbul, the situation and position regarding his stay, there is a matter of discussion still going on between Uganda, Turkey, and Interpol. And once those discussions are finalized, he will certainly be happy to share with us his status and fate. But as of now, discussions are still ongoing, as Odongo said to members uh, on the Foreign Affairs Committee. The minister, who then proceeded to address the members on the matter of Afghan refugees coming into the country soon, was interjected by the Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Muadan Kunyinji, who asked the committee chairperson to task the minister to pronounce him on Lumbia's whereabouts. In his speech, he said, I want the minister to be specific on whether Lumbia was deported and he is in Uganda or he is still in Turkey because Honorable Okelo Oriam, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs, recently said that Lumbia was deported. And now his senior minister is saying that discussions are ongoing, so which is which, as in Kunyinji asked. Minister Odongo, who instead asked Oriam, who had accompanied him to explain himself on the matter, Oriam said, I beg not to be misquoted by the Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister. At no time did I say that Lumbia was deported and he is supposed to be deported. Honorable Kunyinji is a lawyer himself. He is very careful with his statements and he is very careful with his words. So for him to claim that he said Lumbia was deported is a misinterpretation of what he said, as Oriam added. It should be remembered that two days after news of Lumbia's arrest broke out, Oriam confirmed it, saying that he and a number of other Ugandans had been arrested by authorities in Turkey on grounds of violating several immigration regulations. He would further reveal that Lumbia and group were going deported, uh, were going to be deported and would arrive at Entebbe International Airport on Saturday morning as Lumbia is in custody of the Turkish authorities with some other Ugandans and they have been charged with several offenses the Turkish authorities have preferred, including breach of immigration regulations and rules, as Oriam said. The minister added that Lumbia and group will be deported or are in route to Uganda where they will arrive in the early hours of tomorrow, that was on Saturday morning, and something that did not happen. And he said on arrival at Entebbe International Airport, Lumbia and his accomplices would be received by rele relevant authorities before being questioned and the various offenses they allegedly committed that have direct implications in Uganda. That morning, journalists and some of Lumbia's friends, including lawyers who waited for his arrival, did not see him creating anxiety in the public about his whereabouts. Some people claimed that he was actually not repatriated while others said Lumbia could have been secretly returned into the country and kept in one of the security facilities. In fact, the Observer newspaper using its social media platforms would later claim that Lumbia was reportedly being held at the Glue Air Force Base in northern Uganda as security continues to hunt for 11 of his alleged conspirators. This was, however, refuted by the UPDF saying it was only intended to bring institution into disrepute. The observer should henceforth retract it by the same means and advise to always double check the information as clarified by the UPDF. In another interview with one of the local televisions this week, Oriam when asked about the whereabouts of Lumbia, he said he is alive and would soon be presented to court by the relevant authorities. 
where he said he's alive far as he knows and people should not be worried about him and the relative authorities have Lum, who have Lumbia will at the right time be able to bring him in public and before the courts of law. Quoting this, Nkunyinji today tasked the minister to come out clear on which court of a law Lumbia whose fate is yet to be decided would appear. In response, Oriam said during that interview he did not specify whether Lumbia was to appear in Uganda's court or those of Turkey. And he said, I never mentioned anywhere that he will appear in courts of law in Uganda. I said he will be brought by relevant authorities to courts of law, as Oriam explained. Lumbia is a famous blogger who for months used Facebook and YouTube to disseminate information deemed by many as false and baseless only aimed at inciting violences as well as causing divisionism and mayhem in the country. He as well attacked Uganda Kingdom Premier Charles Peter Maiga, top government officials, senior security officers whom he branded several names and the Motormouth blogger also announced the cover of Uganda dead, as well as President Joel Kagutam 7. Police spokesperson Fred Enanga said on Monday that Lumbia is not in their custody and that is where his whereabouts are also not known to them. He, however, mentioned that despite them not having him currently, police has about 15 cases filed against him that would be made public after he's handed over to them. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Progen Media TV and we'll keep on updating with more of this. Kindly do one thing, subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Progen Media TV.